Hi, I'm uh, Chef Andrea uh, Giuliani. I'm the chef owner of uh, Pausa Bar and Cookery in San Mateo, California. Well, uh, you know, when you're working in a, in a restaurant and you have the opportunity to, to use uh, certain um, uh, machines, certain technology, you know, you realize how important it is to, to have the, the same machine at home. So I decided uh, to, to buy a, a Freddy and uh, so now all the family use it. And today I'm finally here to show you how to create a gourmet dish using Irinox technology at home. In the menu today, we will show you a beef tenderloin cooked at low temp. We will have a, an English peas mash, a, a chutney with a cherry tomato and spring onion, and a parmigiano and saffron fondue. So the first uh, step is uh, preparing uh, our chutney. We have uh, this fresh cherry tomato. We will cut the tomato in four inside the cherry tomato. At the same time, we will add uh, the spring onion. Our apple vinegar. And uh, brown sugar. Chutney will have uh, a acidity, then uh, will complement the flavor of the of the beef. So we start to cook the chutney, and we we'll, we will wait uh, at least around 30 to 45 minutes until uh, we will reach the consistency. So in the meantime, then we're waiting for our chutney. We are going to pre-chill the chamber. We will use the chilling cycle because at certain point we need to chill the chutney for our dish. So now we are going to prepare our English peas mash. We are going to blanch the English peas and use the same chilling cycle. In this way, we are going to preserve the texture, the coloration and the flavor profile of our mash. It's really nice to understand how the technology at home can help you, you know, on the day-to-day -day life, you know, and uh, especially if you have a family with the kids, one of the things that I really realize is uh, how much waste we have at home. So, generally speaking, we're going to the, the farmer's market, we're going to the grocery shop, and uh, we have the tendency always to, to buy a lot of stuff. So, when you have uh, the Friday at home, and you can use this technology again. When I'm cooking, I can schedule and prepare in one day the meal for all the family during the week. So a lot of people, of course, uh, in, in a regular family, both uh, husband and wife work, are working. So it's uh, the time that you have to spend uh, behind the stove. It's, uh, it's not much. And uh, Freddy helps you to organize your, your meal, number one. Now our English peas are ready, and we're going to chill the peas in the Freddy. Number two, when you chill the product in a certain way, you preserve the organolectic part of the product, the juice, the texture. Of course, you extend the shelf life. And it's extremely important, especially when we talk about fish, vegetables, fruit, you know. And also with the shock freeze, you can shock freeze any type of product and extend or triplicate the shelf life in the freezer. And that is extremely important. So our chutney is ready. And now this is a really important step from the stove, so from hot to cold. We need to chill the product in a short amount of time. It is uh, really simple to use Freddy at home. You know, there is a touch screen, super easy to, to navigate from one cycle to the other. And then at the end of the day, it's like to have a, a butler at home. Somebody can uh, use the, the cycle of a ready dish. And uh, when you come home, you already have the, your dinner ready. So again, we always make this joke, but I feel uh, sometimes I have a private chef at home and uh, Fred is his name. So now the chutney and the English peas are ready to get out from the Freddy. The colors of the chutney and the English peas. This is extremely important. You don't have oxidation. The integrity of the product is uh, amazing. But yes, they are ready for our final dish. But if I want to store some of the chutney of the peas after I chill it, I can use it after a week and the product will be exactly the same. This is the best part of using the Freddy in the kitchen. Now our uh, English peas are uh, ready. 
We are going to use a Robocop. A uh, few ingredients, we will have uh, extra virgin olive oil, lemon zest uh, and lemon juice, uh, and some uh, fresh uh, oregano, salt and pepper. We, we are going to use uh, three quarter of, uh, of the peas and mash the peas, and we will leave some of the peas inside, just for a, give a, a little bit of texture. So now we are ready to cook uh, our beef tenderloin. We are going to use uh, the low cook temp uh, cycle, and the Freddy will take care of the, the beef. We are going to preheat the chamber 167 Fahrenheit and we are going to use the probe. At the core, we would like to have 129 Fahrenheit. So, no more stress, but just fun. Beside the two chilling and the shock freezing, it's, a, it's really fun to work with Freddy on the, on the cooking side. You know, over there, of course, you can cook and chill at the same, at the same time. So, whatever you prepare today, you can store it in the refrigerator, and tomorrow you will have the, 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 the dinner the dinner ready at home. So the last step of our uh, recipe is making the Parmesan and Zafferan fonduta. We use the three ingredients, straightforward, milk, butter, Parmesan uh, cheese, and uh, we are not going to chill the fonduta because I need it right now, hot for the last touch of the dish. But uh, later on, I will chill it, so I can preserve the fonduta and use it another day, until at least a week. You know, today I decide to use uh, the meat. Uh, I use the tenderloin. At home, uh, my kids love, uh, love the tenderness of the tenderloin in general, but uh, uh, when you're cooking a, a filet on a, on a grill, sometimes uh, you have this, there is opportunity to make a mistake, so to lose juiciness and the texture of the, of the meat. With the Freddy, uh, today I use the uh, low temp uh, cooking cycle and uh, cook the meat uh, at low temperature give you the opportunity to maintain uh, the texture than you, than you decide and the temperature. So the meat is uh, perfectly have the same temperature beside uh, the, the side that you, you're going to sear after it's cooked. But the flavor profile maintain all the juices so you don't have dryness on the meat. And this is extremely important, extremely easy to lose uh, sometimes in a traditional method. So right now our uh, tenderloin uh, is ready. We are going to give uh, just a quick sear. We use some rosemary and uh, oregano. We will let them rest uh, for a couple of minutes and we'll be ready for plating. After we reach the 129 Fahrenheit at the core, we quick sear it. On the, on the pan, and now we are ready to plate. I'm really happy because uh, today we use uh, a lot of uh, colors, and this is really something uh, that makes me happy. We have a couple of uh, canals of uh, English pea mash. And the beauty of this plate will be the juiciness and the tenderness then just with the Freddy, we can reach. And let's go and cut our meat. The temperature is a medium rare. Look at the juiciness. We love to play with colors. We finish with a little bit of olive oil. And this is our dish.